On today's episode of Amanda and Felix Eats, we'll be going to a buffet, surfing up all you can eat sushi. It's like, it's so crazy. You don't think it works, but it works. This looks okay. absolutely crazy. Options are endless here for fresh seafood at this insane buffet. We're super excited. Let's get into the video. What's going on, foodie Ohana, and welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we are here on the outskirts of Waikiki, <laughs> taking you guys with us to a buffet place. And guys, it's not just any buffet place. This place is serving up all-you-can-eat sushi. What more can you ask for here in the middle of Waikiki? We're right across from Fort Derusi Park or near the Hilton Hawaiian Village. And looks like there's a bunch of new development here in this building. A ton of new restaurants. Maybe we'll have to come back for another video. Maybe. But Bye, we're super excited for some sushi. Today, it's all about the fish and we're bringing it to you guys. And we're here guys at Khan Sushi here in the Cantonbury Plaza. Guys, it even lets you know beforehand how insane it's gonna be. Ooh, fancy, fancy. Oh, thank you. Oh, we got a view of the street. Got the view. <laughs> oh, such a Very fancy appropriate spot. for the amount of food we're about to order. We are here at Khan Sushi, one of the hottest, newest buffet spots, all you can eat here in town. We're super, super, super excited. We've actually been wanting to come here for a while, but it was always super busy, super packed. They are open for lunch and dinner. We parked across the street in the old Wailana Coffee House parking lot. It was around $4 an hour. Unfortunately, because this building, they don't validate if you park in the Canterbury building, it's $6 an hour. So if you guys don't catch the bus or Beaky, or if you're driving here, probably the best bet will be to park at Wailana Coffee House. Pro tip in short, park at Wailana Coffee House. So we are doing the dinner special tonight, $37.95. Gets you access to everything on this menu, excluding drinks and alcohol. Already I see some delicious rolls. The great thing about Khan Sushi is everything is like a, a tapa style, meant to be shared with the family. And a lot of the dishes are a lot smaller than you think, so we don't fill you up with like three to five items. The hundred plus menu items, so you want to order up a, a bunch the moment you sit. And that way you have food coming out steady. Oh, oh so okay, there's okay. no like restriction, like only four no. at a time? Oh wow. Oh, wow. When it's okay. really busy, sometimes we might, but... Okay, uh, let's do one of each. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> yeah, you gotta finish it all. And then yeah, we got rolls, we got noodles, barbecue items, whole pages of appetizers. So even if you're not here for sushi, there's a lot mm. of menu items too. So like about half the menu is sushi, half is non-sushi. Oh, wow. Awesome, thank you. Um, again, the hamachi, unagi, and kalbi is dinner exclusive. Oh my god, Fudohana. So we took advantage of the no limit order and put in a bunch of orders for our first order. If that makes sense. We might have overdone ourselves for the first time ever on this channel. Look at this. I mean, come on. How on earth are we supposed to tackle all this delicious food? That's what I'm here for. What? Hi, Fudohana. It's me, Kavan, back for the food grinds. Did Amanda invite you? Uh, I snuck <laughs> oh in the back. <laughs> well, we definitely need the reinforcements for today. I'm excited. Oh, the food looks so good. Uri Ohana, oh, table shaking, Sorry. earthquake because of the massive amount of food on the table. So much so that I think I'm gonna hold my plate. True Japanese style. Armed with just a pair of chopsticks and a plate, this is the most rolls I've ever seen presented in front of me and unique rolls nonetheless. So the Vaughn, she's here. She's gonna be helping us tackle on this, but also she's gonna be our directory because I, I honestly don't remember what these rolls were. This first one in front of me is called the Tom and Jerry. No cats or mouses were harmed in the making of this roll. This is a spicy tuna tempura with with salmon on top, garlic chips, and pico de gallo. There's two sides to this. One side is raw, the other side is slightly seared. Interesting, yeah, I just Very noticed that. I'm gonna try this roll. This is the yam bam, thank you ma'am. What is it? <laughs> yam bam crunch. Yam bam crunch. Yam bam hamajang. It has tempura with California. Imitation crab, California. Fried sweet potato. Spicy tuna and albacore. Oh my goodness, you guys. This looks okay. absolutely crazy. Wait, Cheer. how what? am I gonna eat this? What do you mean? Just eat it. Okay. Cheers, guys. Cheers. The first bite. Mmm. 
Whoa. The fish is fresh. Wow. The rice is really good. Taste the garlic chips right off the bat. I love the creaminess of the avocado. The spicy tuna adds a nice little welcome to kick to the mouth. That roll, I love the crunch on it. I love the albacore with the spicy tuna. It's not super spicy. And that crunch on top is amazing. Fried goodness. It gives it a nice little crunch. I love that they include shrimp tempura. Like in a lot of places too, they fill the roll with rice. I feel like this is a very good portion size of rice. Very good observation. The other half of my Tom and Jerry, I guess the Jerry side, the pico de gallo side is very interesting. It's seared salmon and pico de gallo. Not my favorite. I would stick to the other side, the garlic side. So guys, here also, they have barbecue meats as well. And they even have appetizers. So I'm gonna go in with this. I think this is pork belly. Look at that sear. Ooh. And I'm gonna go for the chicken katsu because I like my chicken katsu. Just missing the next salad. Mm. Oh man, mm, the katsu is good. It was so light and crispy. Is it tonkatsu or chicken katsu? Oh, this is pork. Mm. Mm, this has a nice little hint of sweetness. Very nicely charred as well. You're gonna love that. The marinade is delicious on this. Sweet, savory char, very tender. Wow. I can eat a whole plate of this. Next rows, next up. This intimidating looking fiery roll in front of me is called the hot Cheeto roll. Dusted with flaming hot Cheetos. It's a shrimp tempura roll dressed up in all the sauces. Looks like mayo, spicy aioli. And inside is shrimp tempura and mozzarella cheese. Very interesting. Because this is like, if you don't really like raw fish, this you can try this roll. And this is the Bonnie and Clyde. It has unagi on top, that nice kabayaki sauce. On the inside, there's avocado, spicy ahi, and more shrimp. And on the top, there's even some sweet tamagoyaki on there. Oh man, this sounds like my roll. Yeah, this is more like Felix. He loves his unagi. Mmm, wow. What? Wow, I love this. Sweet, a little bit spicy. I love the shrimp tempura. Creaminess from the avocado. The egg topped on top gives it a nice little kick of sweetness. This is like a, a child's imagination roll. Like mm -hmm. flaming hot Cheetos, fried mozzarella sticks, fried tempura. But it's so like the munchies. It hits you in the munchies. It's like this is a munchy spot though, honestly. Yeah, like, <laughs> oh my gosh. It's like eating sushi roll with flaming hot Cheetos on the side. But why eat it on the side when it, you can combine it and get this roll? Holy cow. And you guys, if you're not really big fans of like raw fish and stuff, they have tons and tons of options. You can get so much here, it's crazy. So I need to try this roll. I kind of want to try yours too. The Bonnie and Clyde, man, right? It's like, it's so crazy. You don't think it works, but it works. Next up, we got what they call fried sushi. It's basically deep fried sushi rice topped with spicy tuna. They have different flavors in this fried sushi as well. If you don't like tuna, they had salmon and like poke. So this one I got right here is the jalapeno bomb. Cream cheese maybe on the inside. Tobiko with some kind of spicy sauce, kabayaki sauce on top. When I heard they had starters here, I thought it was gonna be like just generic, like just pot stickers, but they have amazing starters. Cheers. Uh, the golden chili roll and the fried lobster roll. Oh, literally insane. Oh, there's even spicy ahi in here. That's insane. This is insane. This whole concept is insane. Oh, wow, this is good. Crispy rice, creamy, slightly spicy tuna with that sauce that is on top here, but it adds a nice creaminess to it. Cancels out the heat so you can keep going. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, that jalapeno bomb is amazing. If you like jalapeno poppers, you're gonna love that. Yeah, you it's have so a good. Cheese. It looks so good. You didn't even give me, save me some. There's another piece. It's That's all you can eat, you guys. You can order one, you can order more. All right, all right, all right. So this is a spicy tuna shrimp roll. Again, spicy ahi on top, shrimp tempura, and imitation crab with avocado topped with a bunch of sauce. I feel like if you guys are fans of like Genki Sushi, this is like the dynamite roll. And this one is simply the garlic yellowtail. So we've shown salmon and tuna so far. This is hamachi. Half of it has garlic with jalapeno. The other half is garlic with Raw red, red onions. Oh, okay, yeah. I'll do the jalapeno size. <laughs> I was gonna say. Spicy today. <laughs> Stuffed with spicy tuna and cucumber on the inside. Oh, and guys, they do ask you if you want wasabi and ginger as well on the side. Mmm. 
Wow, if you like the fattiness of hamachi, you like this one. It's very simple, very fresh tasting. You can taste the spicy tuna, of course, for the heat. Jalapeno garlic chips on top adds a nice crunch. Extra heat, the fattiness of the hamachi, very good. This has something like seared on the top. Oh, it's a seared mozzarella. I taste it. I love that little hint of seared goodness. If you guys are fans of like that torchy flavor, this is delicious. Next, guys, I'm going in for this. It looks like spicy pork. I'm gonna go for one of my favorites, the beloved kalbi. They even have kalbi here, guys. Since I'm going in on the kalbi, a little discretion. Lunchtime, it is cheaper by about 10 bucks or so, but it excludes kalbi, hamachi, and unagi. So you can't choose those dishes for lunch. On the menu, it will say like dinner only, so you'll know. Sweet, nice char, smokiness, very tender. Do they have like a Korean barbecue back there? Wow, the marinade is like super Korean, like barbecue flavor. Very Korean-esque style, LA Karbi. Very good, I can just eat this. The tonkatsu, better rice, call it a day. They also have pot stickers. I've been eyeing it out this whole time. And if you guys like salad, they have salad too. Mm. Felix is kind of mad at me for getting salad. No, I'm just shocked you got salad, that's all. Yeah, what is this? Some kind of spicy tuna with jalapeno and sriracha looks like. It's also dressed with their in-house ponzu. This is like a spicy, tangy ahi tuna roll. So along with sushi rolls, if you guys are intimidated by such a long, girthy roll, you can also order sushi by nigiri pieces, meaning by two pieces per order. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and this is what I mean by nigiri. So they have fresh sushi here too. If you're a purist and you just want fresh sushi, all you can eat, you can just keep ordering these, these bad boys all day. And they prepare it specially too. Like they have my favorite, the unagi, seared salmon, Amanda's favorite, fresh tuna, sa regular salmon, ika, which is squid, hamachi, the beloved hamachi, tamago egg for you omelet lovers, and hamachi with wasabi. So options are endless here for fresh seafood. This is perfect for you that don't like too much sauce. Very pure, like yeah. Felix said. Unagi. Cheers. Everything is so fresh. I was a little apprehensive, I'm not gonna lie, being an all-you-can-eat, but the fish quality here is really good. So what rolls are your favorite so far, Vaughn? Everything so far has been tasted so good. Like, it's kind of shocking. I, at this point, I would say everything tastes good. If I had to like pick favorites, hot Cheeto one, it's surprisingly really good. Really far out of left field, but if you're craving those hot Cheetos, that like that munchies, this is hits the spot. This one actually too is really good. This I believe is the... Uh, the Hamajang like, roll, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yam Bam Cruncher, that one, the, yeah, that crunch that they put on the top, oh, like that gives you that kick with the yellow tail, I love it. What about size, as far as size? Sides, oh, sides. I was surprised by the tonkatsu, for sure. Yeah, that um, was really I good. I didn't expect the batter, the batter is actually uh -huh. really good, yeah. So it's not like your typical, like if you're thinking like the chicken katsu kind of batter, it's the actual the tonkatsu batter, which is really good. But uh, yeah, so far, everything's been tasting amazing. Stay tuned, guys, there's a lot more food coming, a lot more. That Cheeto roll was like oddly addicting, right? Oh, oh. I was trying to hold back and try the other one. I'm like, oh no, this one's too so good. I didn't really try this one. I think you'll like that one. It was unexpected. The sushi marathon continues at this insane buffet. This next dish I'm very excited to try because there's no rice. So here they even have sushi that doesn't have rice in it. So this is the SNS roll. There's shrimp tempura, Philly cheese, and salmon wrapped around it. I got... Oh, I'm, this one's also the Philly cheese one too. So this is Philly cheese, but the outside batter looks like it's... Deep fried and deep tempura. Deep fried. So this is like the guilty Philly roll. The brotherly love. Philly roll. This is the healthy Philly roll. Mm. Mm. If you're a big fan of guilty pleasures, this is it right here. Deep fried, lightly outside in the tip. Look, a man's going right in. Nice, soft cream cheese, salmon, dressed in that nice unagi sauce. Oh man, this is good. It's just a spot, man. For those of you who have eaten locally here at Kuru Kuru Sushi, they had a roll called the Union Roll. This is very much similar to that. This is really good too because you don't have the rice, but it is missing that like, I don't know, like, it's 
it's missing something. The rice? <laughs> Next up, I have this dragon roll. And as we mentioned earlier, you could order the sushi by nigiri. They also have seared nigiri. Oh, ahi tataki. Snowflake salmon. Okay. Like a dusting of some cheese on there. <laughs> and then okay. this one is the cheese salmon. So there's a seared cheese on top as well. That is crazy. I, I have a feeling that one's gonna be real delicious. So this dragon roll, it actually has katsuobushi on the top or katsu bonito flakes. I'll try the snowflake one then. Spicy aioli, parmesan cheese, and tobiko. Sounds weird, like it doesn't work, but it's so good. This one is very simple. It's just like unagi with some sauce, avocado, cali roll. It's a little too simple for me though. And the shrimp tempura. I feel like all the other ones had like a lot of sauce on it. This one doesn't have too much sauce. It's a nice break from a lot of the other cheesy, saucy, saucy ones. Agree. So I'm gonna go into something very saucy. This here is the lobster, fried lobster. There's a cali roll on the bottom covered in tobiko. And then on top, it's like fried lobster chunk with some kind of sauce. Cheers. <laughs> Nick is eating a deconstructed roll. It's honey mustard. I don't know, I was just thinking, honey mustard. Don't know how I feel about this roll. I like it, but not the honey mustard. That's kind of weird to me. Yeah, I think that's a little too far out there. If you guys like the taste of lobster with honey mustard. Very interesting. Is there honey mustard lovers out there? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> so this one here is the ahi penyo. Again, similar to the SNS. It's ahi tataki wrapped spicy ahi, aioli on top, and a jalapeno. So it's similar to mine, except instead of the spicy tuna, this one has the rice. So this is the tataki nigiri. Tataki Ahi is like uh, raw in the middle but seared on the outside. Like a medium rare seared ahi tuna. Mmm. Mmm. It's peppery. I like the pepperiness. Yeah. Most places, they will prepare it generally with ponzu sauce and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like a carpaccio. Highly recommend getting the ahi tataki dishes here. Fudi Ohana, I know a lot of you guys have kids. A lot of you guys know the picky eaters. If you come to a sushi spot, you don't expect them to have udon. I have a separate stomach for noodles, so this is gonna be perfect. There's kizami noni on top, there's a shrimp tempura, kamaboko, fish cake, and some fried tofu skins or aburage. I also saw on the menu they had other noodle dishes as well, so I mean... That looked really good. They had some kind of like fried udon it? pasta or something. Yeah, directory. <laughs> she knows I'm kidding, Furio Hana. That's Asian the one. Asian shrimp Keep... udon pasta. Yeah, I was tempted to get that. I'm gonna try this seared cheese tuna one. Tell me not, that looks like a, a sliver of onion, right? Mm. I was kind of surprised because this has been sitting for a, a bit. I mean, we have been filming. As you guys know, we ate a lot so far. So I thought it would be like soggy, but no, the noodles are very, very nicely bouncy and chewy. I will say what I really like so far about Khan Sushi is the innovative rolls that you don't think would work just works and it just tastes delicious. They're incorporating a lot of cheeses and different sauces with the rolls. You don't think the combination would work, but somehow it works. It sounds weird, but man, is it tasty. Any favorites so far? Oh, I'm glad you asked, Amanda. <laughs> I really like the barbecue. The barbecue is good. Yeah, the barbecue. I know everyone's here for like the all-you-can-eat sushi factor, but the fact is they have meat. So at the end of the day, if you don't feel like you got enough protein or if you feel like, oh, I kind of want something more meaty, they have that here. I mean, a lot of the all-you-can-eats, they don't really have that if there's this all-you-can-eat sushi. So that makes con very different in my opinion. From first-hand experience, after indulging in an endless sushi buffet, it can get tiring just eating fresh fish all the time. So I'm glad they incorporate barbecue meats here. That fried tonkatsu was actually really good, on par with some tonkatsu restaurants. And the fact that there's no limits too, it's just crazy. I feel like if you're not a big seafood lover, there's options for you here as well. So no one's gonna leave hungry. Guaranteed when you come here. It's very kid friendly and very innovative. Gateway to get your kids to eat sushi. Yeah, it's very um, youthful. Yeah. Playful, Playful, it's in nature, but yeah. delicious in reality. Wait, do they have dessert here? I don't even think we ordered half of the menu. There's so much more on the menu, it's crazy. You know us, we have to, of course, get some 
Dessert. I feel like that's the only downside of this buffet. There's no dessert. But fear not, right downstairs, you get 10% off if you present your receipt that you came from Khan Sushi. You get 10% off dessert. Why not? And if you guys like sushi rolls, like you like rolling with us, smash that like button. Ooh, right downstairs. Gelato and chill. Oh, this is a cute little spot. Ooh. Guys, look at all these amazing flavors from sorbet to gelato. Holy cow. I think this is the most gelato I've seen here, like in one area. How many flavors is this, like 50? It's crazy. You can make your own like cookie ice cream. You have dough whip here too. If you dine at Khan Sushi, you get 10% off if you come down here for dessert. So you guys know we're taking advantage of that. Dairy free options. Dairy free, okay. And then the rest oh. of it is sorbet, which is water with fruits. Two months right now, coming up on two months. And, um, process for us. Still crispy. Mm. I'm a huge Jungkook fan, and Jungkook loves banana milk. That's why I had to have the banana milk options in here. Oh. Had to do it justice. He's the that. big Jungkook. No, I'm not. Stop. <laughs> no. <laughs> He's a uh, secret. secret. No, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I don't know. He's shy. He doesn't want to let it I don't know you guys are talking about. So he's really shy. I don't Those know who Cook is. He knows more Jungkook songs than me. And V. I love Jungkook. But there's one of each for each of you. Oh. But you guys can all oh. just choose oh. which one. Oh, thank you. Yeah. How's the calamansi? I couldn't wait for the camera. It's so refreshing. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. It's so good. Oh. I'm gonna play cat cookies, sorry. Ooh, that's really good. Thank you. Mm. Choices are getting harder and harder. Let's go. Mom. Oh, thank you. Ooh, thank you. Thank you. Have a good How's the Nutella? Oh man. Yeah, that Nutella. It's like the inside of the Ferrer Rocher. The yeah. It just literally tastes like that. This rocky road. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, and then our rocky road is a little bit different because we use a uh, marshmallow cream puff. Rocky road's his favorite. Okay, for oh, those okay. are, rocky road is my absolute favorite flavor. And I got one for you, right? Yeah. Mm. That marshmallow cream makes such a, a difference. Game changer, right? Yeah. Stay tuned to see what gelato we choose. I'm so excited. That's such a random. That's a random. So random, bro. It's like. I'm surprised you didn't get the Nutella. I thought you were for sure. So we are here at Gelato and Chill. Super chill spot right underneath Khan. And we both got a single cup, but they split it with two flavors. So we both got pistachio and I got pistachio and Nutella. What did you get? I got pistachio and lihi moe, which is very surprising because I actually don't normally like lihi moe, but I tried their ice cream and it's really, really good. That's a sign, y'all. If I'm getting it and I normally don't like lihi moi, that's a sign. And Amy here that works here is super, super nice. She even gifted us a little sample for her little cookies. This is a Funfetti cookie that is a chocolate chip and a brown butter, I believe, she said, right? Or Nutella. Oh, Nutella. Cookie. Nutella. And Felix, what did you get? Chunky Monkey and Rocky Roll, my two favorite. Can't deviate from the favorites. And I'm gonna be trying the chocolate chip cookie. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, cheers. Yeah, I was just telling the other people too. This is my favorite. Mm. I am not gonna lie, I'm not, normally not a big fan of gelato. The gelato here, something about it tastes very pure. Whatever the flavor it is that you're choosing, it tastes as such. Rocky Road, it's gonna taste like Rocky Road. I like that they add marshmallow fluff, makes it easier to eat. I do like the, the texture of marshmallow puffs better, but the flavor is really, really good. I want to try your chunky monkey. Oh yeah, I'm saying. Mm. Oh wow, that literally tastes like banana. All the so, ingredients very sh like they shine. Ooh, yeah. Banana. The banana flavor really shines really through. One of my favorite chunky monkeys so far. I've had. The pistachio is really good. You can really taste the pistachio flavor. I love the little crunch of the nuts and this little sample size cookie that she let us sample. It goes perfectly with my gelato. Even if you're not eating a con and you just want a nice treat for yourself, stop by. All right, foodie ohana. That's gonna do it for today's 
episode of Insane Sushi Buffet. We hope you guys had an amazing time because we definitely did. Thank you guys so, so much for coming along on today's foodie adventure. We really hope you enjoyed our all-you-can-eat buffet right in Waikiki. We hope you guys can check them out. As always, we leave the links down in the description below. While you're down there, hit that like button if you like today's video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button as well to come and join our foodie Ohana. And we will see you guys on our next episode. Right, foodie Ohana until the next foodie adventure. Explore your inner foodie. Peace out. Bye guys. Canterbury? Canterbury. Pretty good here, yeah? Because I, I chose this. Oh yeah, yeah. Smart, smart. That's why I married you. <laughs> no, no, on me, oh, oh, on oh. me. Am I starting over? I don't okay, know, do you want to cut it? No, like, no, no, it's okay, it's okay. Oh, and don't, don't shake the table. Yeah, I know, I got it. We got the appropriate table for the, the food size. You know, order. Yeah, yeah. And of course, oh, we have... Oh, no, I didn't want to get her in it. Damn. We are going to tackle on this sushi feast. Wait. This needs to be more back. The original angle didn't do the spread justice, so here we are. The pico di za, the pico ba. Um, uh, what well, I just said it. Uncle batter. Um, Tonkatsu batter. Batter, yeah. Oh, this is <coughs> Whatever the, the, what do you call that? Whatever the choice is you're making, the, the, the name of it, yeah. I'm blanking out because it's so good. <coughs> oh, actually the cheese one, because this one has uh, a strip of onion on here. No, it's cheese, I just said. Oh, is it cheese? Yeah. Bro, this looks like onion. Stay tuned. Whoa, whoa, too close, too close. Why'd you order a salad? I'm gonna pretend like you didn't ask me. Is that a bad Where question? Where should I put this? Insane? Yes. Insane buffet indeed. I thought you were going to say in the main membrane. <laughs> <laughs>